Good morning and welcome to Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Excited today using these gorgeous, gorgeous colours. That was, it was literally white with a bit of the, um, oh, turquoise added, I believe. I think it was, yes, um, because this paint was mixed up a while ago. So I'm speeding through the uh, boring process of just giving my canvas an all over coat. So just a nice even coat of the fluid paint. Um, as I've told you many times before, if you want to, the recipe that I use is in the drop down box of this video um, for my paint mixing videos or yeah, my playlist for beginners. What you will see here is I'm just doing a few tests uh, of um, different paints to see if I get any cell effects in there. So they are paints that I've had sitting there a while. So I just thought I'd give it a test on the corner of that particular uh, canvas and see what I'm getting. At the minute, I'm actually getting nothing. And those paints were mixed with Australian Floetrol and I'm getting no cells, but they have been mixed for a long time. Now I mixed the black with Australian Flow Troll, troll and got uh, yummy cells. So I've decided to do a swipe colour for this particular background and I'm doing it with, it's purple, it's the Amsterdam purple that I've mixed in that particular um, container and it's mixed with, only mixed with Flow Troll. Australian Floetrol and it gives me these U Butte super duper cells to set up my lovely lovely background um, for this particular um, creation that I'm going to do so it does give you really um, a lovely background and I'll bring you down in a second to see this a lot closer and you'll understand why I love this particular background so much formed cells so that is I got that from Amsterdam paint mixed with Australian Floetrol only you do it at quite a thick mix it's not very thin and it's not very thick but that's going to be my background so on with the next stage I'm just using my Amsterdam paints and they're mixed with my normal pouring medium which is the clear um, glue that's mixed with 70% glue, 30% water and then I've added just about a, oh, a dessert spoon of Floetrol to all my paints in those containers. So it has got a little bit of Floetrol in it but I find that if I add the Floetrol I get lots of cells instead of adding uh, silicone to my paints so that was a lovely bright orange now I'm going to go the cool red and as you see that is lovely um, turquoise sitting there just waiting to be used up in this creation a little bit of black in there and that that black is the Amsterdam black and it's mixed with Floetrol only so it's what they call in a cell activator it's helping some more cells that will appear when I do a blowout on this and the same with the white is the Amsterdam white mixed with Floetrol in those little it, it's what they call your cell activator um, so that's what I'm going to use and then I'll just whiz over Oh, I'm going to add some gold, but I will whiz over it with a heat gun to just burst any air bubbles that might be in the paint before I give it the blowout. Mm -hmm. 
excited about these colors so let's see what I get I will just keep going till I get something that's really pretty so just blowing those out with my little mini dryer which is called a baby bailis um, can't find them anymore in the shops but I'm told you can get them on Amazon so I'm looking for um, a replacement one and when I found it and tested it, I'll absolutely let you guys know. But it's looking from this particular angle, looking back down at it, the colours are seem, seeming to lose in them a bit, but I really don't. If you watch in a few minutes when I give you the close-ups, it turns out absolutely beautiful. I'm just thinking, do I turn that around and blow the other way? Um, but I'll just... Uh, see how I go with it. I'm just at the moment trying to put some detail and uh, separate sort of those abstract petals there. decide to blow it all out but I will add some embellishment and uh, just bear with me because it does turn out really beautiful I am absolutely um, in love with this piece it's dried on my table now I am back off a holiday and um, I looked at it when I come back in to my work area and thought oh that is so nice it deserves uh, some resin on it favorite part oh look at that on the bottom of that balloon oh jilly you went and i could have pushed that onto another canvas but you have got to be ready look at those they're really turning out with lots of detail like something that's um been, been painted by um an artist looking like flowers they are really lovely especially close up which I'll give you a squizzy in a minute. Now, this little, uh, well, it's just an ordinary size balloon that I've run under the water to put a bit of weight in it. I don't feel, put water in my larger balloons because that can get very messy if they burst but I've literally got loads of quite thick paint. So I'm using that little um, balloon as like a blotting up tool to keep kissing it into the paint and then wiping that paint off is removing some of the paint, but in a way that leaves a lovely effect underneath it. So um, lots of people ask me, you know, about the balloon kiss, they still can't get it and they're getting frustrated and it's, it is really all to do with your paint consistency. If you're getting it that your balloons are just, for, your balloon kisses are falling in, try your paint on the little bit thicker side. Also try leaving your paint before you do the balloon kiss. Um, leave your pour for about 20 minutes before you start the balloon kiss. That can help a lot of the paint to absorb into the canvas and dry off slightly and give you a much better um, platform to do those balloon kisses. But as you see, the more I am balloon kissing this particular piece, for me, it's just coming alive. It's getting rid of any of the bits that I felt were a little bit muddy. 
and it's just bringing it all to life on that lovely lacy lilac background really really loving this one i hope you do too so just finishing it with the skewer just to add some little tendrils some softness and romance to it i believe you can uh, if it's your own piece of work you do as much or as little as you want to do remember your art your rules your way um, this is how i feel that i must do it for my um, style and what I want to do but you can stop at any time or go further it's all it's all up to you there's no rules remember um, just gonna get hitting it now with my just the heat wand burst any air bubbles and kind of help set it all there that is really really pretty and I'm really really happy um, not sure why I got that oh yeah I was just trying to go over the areas that were sort of had missed the laciness but I will now show you the close-up effect and it's very pretty well there you go look at those colors um, this side turned out a little better than the other side where I blew it probably a bit too much and that's why I did all those balloon kisses in there because it to me it looks a bit muddy so the balloon kisses actually brought up the light colour from underneath um, there's gorgeous details it really does look like you've you know hand painted these petals of flowers and it's just created by a simple balloon there you go you can be an artist and um, in the simplest of ways so there you go it's a really beautiful I think it's really beautiful <laughs> I'm really pleased with it so that was on a 40 by 50 canvas so nice size canvas and I'm going off on holiday now so but you probably won't see this video until I get back so hopefully I'll put some little videos up of our trip away it's going up the coast and getting some more sun having a break away which I think we both need so my lovelies you please stay safe and well do something that gives you joy every day as I try to do okie doke until tomorrow bye for now